Hey guys, what's your family farm here? Another day on the greenhouse. Today I'm painting the inside as you can see. Oh, talk about some work, man. I am. I put a lot of time into this. It's worth every penny though. We're more worried about our food source than we are worried about anything else right at this point in time. Can you hear how quiet it is here? Believe that? That's what living out in the country is about. So what we did is we had some leftover paint that we did our bathroom with, as you can see behind me. And I only used about, me not even a quarter of a gallon of the paint that I bought. So we had the leftover paint and I asked Amy, I says, you think we could use that inside? And she goes, well, paint a wall and find out. And if I like it, we'll paint the whole thing. And if not, we'll go get a color. Well, she loved it. Happy wife, happy life, as they say. And she's loving the greenhouse. Um, this has been a, it's been a hell of a build for me. Uh, first time I've ever built a greenhouse. Man, as you guys seen through prior videos that we posted, uh, how much work it is, you know. I'm sorry I haven't been really diligent about uh, using the camera a lot. Um, I just get started and I get focused and I, I forget about the camera. And it's, it's bad because, you know, you guys would probably like to see how some of this stuff is done. But if you have any questions in the bottom, in the comments, ask and, you know, I can tell you what I did. So, um, what we're doing right now is I built a plywood. That's all plywood right there. That's going to be the first shelf to hold our seedlings. The second shelf up top that you see, now that's going to, that's going to be a wire mesh. So any of the water or dirt that drops through drops down onto the plants below it. Plus, if you've only got one run of plants on the bottom, the sunlight can still get into it. If you put plywood up top, it's going to block that amount of extra amount of sunlight that could get to your plants. Um, wow. It just, you know, putting all this stuff together and getting everything built and it's, it's been a timely project. I am two, two by, or four, two by four by eight short. And I'm going to go pick those up tomorrow and I'm going to finish the shelf over on this side over here and get that put in. Um, I can't paint that stuff or the bottom stuff until next year because it's pressure treated and it's wet and paint won't stick to it. So I got to wait for it to dry out. Now in a greenhouse, I'm hoping it dries out pretty quick. Um, I did put plywood border all the way around it. So there's plywood all the way around it. I will paint all that. That will all be painted. Um, and I, basically the reason why I'm painting it is... I, well, one, let me tell you this. Always use, <laughs> some people argue with me, but I use an exterior latex paint in my bathrooms all the time. And why? Because moisture buildup from showers and taking baths and there's a water base in there. And if you use an exterior paint, it you don't have to worry. It seals up a lot better than the interior does. So just remember that when you're buying paint, you're going to do something like your bath, paint your bathroom, use an exterior. Trust me, it'll work a lot better. Um, it's the same price. I mean, no difference in price that I know of. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to painting over here and I got to get all this painted in and cut in. Um, I'm not worried about getting paint on the windows because what we do is we plan on scraping all the windows and we plan on cleaning all the windows. Uh, another thing that's good about the exterior latex paint is that if I wanted to, I could come in here with a hose and spray the whole inside of the greenhouse down and not have to worry about it. And that's a pretty big plus, you know. Um, don't have to worry about uh, mold buildup because the temperature in here right now is probably pushing about 80 degrees and it's 60, I think it's 67 right now. So it gets hot in here, man. The higher you go up, the hotter it gets, man. It's got to be 80 degrees up there. I'm telling you. I never thought a greenhouse would do so much. And no door yet, which I'll be picking up the storm door. I'll show you the installation of the storm door. Um, I wanted to put a storm door in here and I want to put a lock on here because we're going to keep some stuff in here, you know, uh, certain things that, you know, for Amy, uh, I'm building her shelf over on this side. You guys get to see that where she could put her gardening books. I want every, you know, I built her a little desk down here. I'll show you guys that too once I get over here painting. Um, I want her to have a place to come where she could sit and, you know, look out out the windows that we got over here and, and look at the garden and see how beautiful it is. And, and you know, watching plants, what her watching her watch plants grow and flourish and become something it just sets something off in her. It just puts her in a happy place, we'll say, you know? So, 
oh, I gotta stop procrastinating and get to work in here because, boy, it's, it's, it's hot as a dickens. <laughs> I can feel the heat on my neck right now from being in here. I had a headband on. It's too hot up there to wear that damn headband. It's craziness. Well, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you like it. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget, we, we came out here, if you don't know and you're a new watcher, we came out here with nothing. I was a chef. Um, I always wanted my own farm and grow my own vegetables and my own livestock. And we came out here with next to no experience and started this. And it was probably the best thing I could have done. I think I had probably added another 10, 15 years onto my life because of the stress of being in a restaurant and running it and owning it, <laughs> owning it. <laughs> so, hey, enjoy, guys. Alright guys, so I might have made a mistake. I should have probably painted first and then did the shelves. <laughs> live and learn. Live and learn. But as you can see, you see how nice it's starting to turn out now. It's all filling in. It's all coming out the way we want it. I'm pretty ecstatic and I'm happy with what we've done so far. I think it's going to be really nice when it's all said and finished. Amy's still got some stuff she wants to buy for it, you know. Um, you're probably wondering about the plywood and water and that. Well, we plan on keeping them in, um, I forget what they're called, but they're planter boxes or planter starters. We, keep, we plan on keeping them in there. We plan on using a water can. Well, that doesn't sound good. But we plan on using a water can to uh, water our plants. So that way it's not that big of a mess. Um, we are not. We don't plan on bringing a hose in here and, and using a hose if we don't have to.
right, guys. So I got it all painted. Amy's happy. She wants that to be another color. Painted whatever color she wants it. But we got the whole thing painted inside. Looks good. It's funny. Amy noticed she liked this color, but she never thought that it would match the sky. So when you look up the sky where I painted the rafters right there, it blends in with the sky. It's pretty cool. So at that point, I think that'll cover it for today's. I'll be back on it tomorrow. I got some more shelves to build. I'll bring you back for that. And I got some scraping, some windows. Getting the windows washed and cleaned. So until next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Uh, you got to see me paint today. I don't know if you really want to call it painting, but I call it slapping some, some paint on some, some old wood. Uh, another thing I want you to realize is most of this stuff that we put in this place is reclaimed wood. And let me tell you, this structure is pretty damn solid. So at that point, guys, I'm going to go. i got to wash up, get my hands washed, wash my brushes out. And until next time, God bless. We love you. Take care. Thank you.